All right, guys, so I've seen my fair share of just utterly weird and screwed up stuff over on Twitter, but I think what I'm covering today really takes the cake for the weirdest stuff I've seen over there. So I'm sure at this point, we all know who Tommy in it is. If not, he's just a Minecraft YouTuber that, you know, just happens to be extremely popular. And of course, with that popularity comes having fans. And you know, that's really not a problem. You know, being a fan of somebody and enjoying their content, not being weird about it is a good thing. But it becomes a huge problem when you have a small percentage of these fans saying that they want to watch him in his sleep. Like, dude, that's messed up and yeah no i'm not joking about that that legitimately happens but anyway this small percentage of tommy and its fan base that acts like they want to sleep with him every night are classified as stands which is like a stalker fan type deal either that or a super fan like dude i can't keep up and i mean we've seen stands before like we've seen stands with dream we've seen them with george not found but i think a big trend of where these stands and weird people come from is the dream smp they seem to watch that and then they find their like favorite person included in the dream smp and then they just stand for them but regardless of all that, this morning I was on Twitter and I somehow found myself on the Tommy and its stand side of Twitter and just, holy shit, dude. There's some stuff over there that I just wish I could unsee. Like, that's not okay. But anyway, today I thought I'd go ahead and just dive into that side of Twitter and, you know, hopefully try and keep my sanity and my will to live. But yeah, I think one of the first tweets I saw when I used the keyword Tommy and it was someone saying, is it wrong that I want to kidnap Tommy? Like, not in a bad way. I just want to live with him forever. Sorry if that's weird. Dude, I'm glad she apologized because I'm sorry to break it to you. That's really f***ing weird. Like, in what world would kidnapping not be a bad thing? Like, please, tell me. And I mean, regardless, you should not be having these thoughts about somebody who you watch for entertainment. Like, what is wrong with you? And I'm sure I'm gonna have that one Tommy in it stand in the comments that's like, oh, well, she didn't mean it in a bad way. She wanted to kidnap him in a good way. And I'm like, how how do you kidnap somebody in a good way? Kidnapping is kidnapping. It's a freaking crime. There are laws in place that say you can't just go out and kidnap somebody. Like, dude, are you insane? And Tommy in it is no different. I'm sorry, but Tommy in it stands do not just get a free pass to kidnap somebody. I feel like these Tommy in it stands, they almost forget that Tommy in it is still a minor. He's 16 years old. Like, holy crap, man. Like, I would not be surprised if most of these Tommy in it stands were not already on the FBI watch list because holy crap, some of the things they say on Twitter. Like, I don't know, man. Seeing a tweet of somebody saying that Tommy in it would give good hugs and then having a bunch of other Tommy in it stands replying saying, Oh my god, I guess I would love to be hugged by Tommy in it. My lord and freaking save your Tommy in it. It's like, dude, not only does that not pique my interest, but it's just, it's just weird. It's not okay. Like, once again, he's 16 years old. Like, I, that's just not okay. And of course, somebody saying that Tommy in it would give good hugs is much more safe for work than like the kidnapping tweet we looked at earlier. And I mean, the thing is, is that we have no idea how old the person tweeting is. Like, seriously, this guy could be like 40. And I mean, he could very well be 16 as well. There's really no saying. And what I honestly think is a problem here is that there are people normal normalizing this behavior to look at a 16 year old like this like no that's not okay man and considering the amount of pedophilia that exists in today's society i guarantee that some of these tommy in it stands are above 18 and that just makes it that much weirder but i mean say we just take age and just completely chuck it out the window i mean it's still extremely weird like i can assure you i'd rather not be watched while i was sleeping as this person said here and you know i'm sure there's no stopping people from having those thoughts but like why would you publicize it why would you put it on twitter and i mean at at that point you're just asking to be shit on by the fbi like you're legitimately admitting to wanting to go into a 16 year old's house and watch him sleep if his address does get leaked like are you that dumb and i mean like how do you justify that like what if somebody you knew on a personal level saw that tweet and they were like yo what the hell is this like how do you explain that it's like i know for a damn fact if somebody came to me saying that i tweeted something like that then i, I i'm just done for like you can't really do anything about that and it's like the only way i can really explain this behavior is just odd and super weird like what average person wants to watch a 16 year old sleep and i mean it's one thing to enjoy his content just like i said earlier that's exactly why he has a following that he has he's a pretty entertaining person and i mean regardless of his age he's entertaining but it, it's another thing to say that you want to watch this kid sleep like he's 16 years old that's not okay and he actually came out and said something about the nsfw art that was being made of him and he said that he wasn't comfortable with that but i just want to say quickly um on on me and i speak for me and turbo and everything all this i've not been on twitter very much over the past week and it has been great but boys any of this not safe for work like sex related fan whatever that is on on the wattpad or on twitter 
I am not comfortable with that, and I do not endorse it. I just thought I'd have to say... I thought it would have been obvious, because um, because I'm a child, but I thought I'd just let you all know. Because I haven't ever formally said... You know, I think that also applies for these, like, really, like, creepy tweets that people are tweeting out. Not just the freaking fan art that he was referring to in that. But NSFW fan art made of anybody without their consent is just screwed up on a whole nother level. I mean, not to mention that Tommy Innit is a freaking minor. And, you know, as Tommy Innit said, I thought it would be pretty apparent that you shouldn't make NSFW fan art of a minor. Like, that's just not right. You can't really justify that. And, you know, there's really no way around it. There's no excuse for why you would want to do this. Like, he's a minor. Where he lives, 18, is when you're an adult and he is not eight but yeah i mean as i was saying there's really no excuse like people are either to assume that you're a pedo or a criminal like you can't really just say that about a minor and you can't really expect to tweet something like that without facing the consequences of somebody who like actually says that and actually believes that or of course somebody who is attracted to minors but you just dig yourself in such a hole like there's really no way you can justify yourself and it's honestly just so utterly weird and just odd that you would want to do this to a 16 year old that you watch for entertainment and i I mean, watch there be that one Tommy and it stay in the comments that's like, Xy, you're a freaking kid who sits in their room and makes videos all day. Like, what are you going to do about it out of all people? And, you know, personally, I can't really do anything about it. But, I mean, uh, the FBI, on the other hand, you know, law enforcement, they, yeah, they can do something about it. They definitely can because making NSFW art of somebody or just NSFW anything of a minor is, you know, it's not on the very legal end of the spectrum. And it honestly just sucks to see that this is the type of environment that we're living in now. Like, there will actually be people who will draw NSFW art of somebody who's not comfortable with it. Not to mention that he's a minor, if I haven't already mentioned that like a thousand times already. I think it really just goes to show that people are bored at home because of COVID and they're doing all this controversial stuff, or at least that's my theory. And I mean, I hate to say that there was like a good thing to come out of COVID, but there were like ups and downs of what COVID did. So of course it's a bad thing that, you know, the virus is killing people. Like that's, no, that's not good. And of course not to mention all the controversy sparking because people are bored at home. But like, as for me personally, me being at home allowed me to pursue YouTube and do what honestly is my dream so it was a good thing in that aspect but of course that's absolutely nothing compared to all the lives that we've lost due to COVID so I don't want you guys to take it like that but yeah I thought I'd just go ahead and throw that out there but yeah sorry I just got off track for a sec but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here in conclusion you know don't make NSFW art of minors there's really no way you could justify your actions so just don't do it it's not right but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to help support me then uh, just go ahead and subscribe with post notifications on and like the video and also make sure you go to the comments and give me your thoughts in this situation and if you haven't already go ahead and join the discord server link in description i'm trying to grow a little community over there so if you want to communicate with me and some of my other fans then that would be the place to do it but yeah that's it for me so thank you guys for watching i'll see you all later peace I'll be fresh to death, you be dressed to get shitted, huh? She think that I'm Mr. Right, but I think I'm committed wrong Girl look like a Leah, but she want of a million Y'all keep it a hundred, I'm a thousand like a killer done Just look at my daddy if you wanna know who I get it from Just look at my mommy if you wanna know how I get it done You scared you're a messy, you are messing with my spirit gun Just look at my feet if you concerned with how my cities run Size nine and a half in your ass Keep a shoebox for the set.